guys want some like little YouTuber reality, this is what I look like on top, all put together real nice. I actually did my hair. Shocking, I know. Um, and then this is what I look like on the bottom. I have Christmas pajamas on. <laughs> in the middle of June, okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christina and I'm a reseller. I love hunting for old treasure that's been left behind, finding in a new home and having a little fun along the way. You can follow my journey on Instagram at little.black.hanger. You can shop my amazing clothing finds on Poshmark at littleblackhanger without the vowels. And you can find everything else in my Etsy shop at Altera Vita Vintage. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, just uh, trapped in Goodwill. It's Hurricane Tornado, Hurricane Floyd. <laughs> Christina gets mad when I film that way. I'm sorry, forgive me. Uh, we we overslept. Flea market didn't happen because she's a bum. I was up ready to go, and I couldn't get her out of bed. But we're here in the uh, Goodwill. She's just doing whatever she does. I'm over here. Look at this. Turned it again. Delcy. Super good luggage brand, kinda like Pikachu. Clean the lips. Wow, nice chins. <laughs> People just like donate their luggage and just like leave the keychains on it. <laughs> These golf clubs are they any good? No, they're all trash. They're trash. These ones are kind of cool, but they're trash. Car is so sticky. Draw. She got the sticky goodwill car. So sticky. Is that my Duncan? I don't know. You got some nerve. <laughs> on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. It's 98 degrees in South Florida, and Christina says, I'm going to wear me a nice cardigan. It's light. She's cute, though, either way, right? Do what you do. No. Oh, look at that. More fake plants. That would really just spruce up our living room. That was real fake, Mel. HGTV. Like, that's, what is this even made of? It's bamboo. Look at this coffee table. Look at this. Wow. That's kind of nice. It's got the plate. It's got a ring from somebody's plate. Plate. Look at this. Great coffee table. It's called Windex. It's a chicken. Oh, he's cute. See if Joe likes him. Joe, you can stay there. Do you like this chicken? chicken. <laughs> it's kind of cool, right? This is a nice chicken. It's a nice chicken. What's it for? A candle? Mm -hmm. Or a plant? Or gravy. Gravy, Joseph. It's for a plant, <laughs> I think. My mother has one that's for the gravy. <laughs> What'd you find? All this vintage golf polo. Uh, it's not Adidas, it's spoiled, it's my size. It's cheap, I'm gonna get it dirty. Let's get it. It's for you. It's for me. Okay. <laughs> you gotta go down like it's an escalator. She's good at that. Where you go, beast? I see you down there. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked out. Let's go. Wow. One dollar for a hot boards. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, bud. We'll um, take that. Harry Potter stuff always does. Mucho well. Mucho well, much well, yes, well. Very many wells. Can you take a picture of me for Instagram? Thank you. Look, she found the cardigan. Look at that. She found that cardigan. It's a great find. I think it's just, mine, but it's like really hot. Are you gonna put it on? I'm gonna throw that in the car like it's hers. Oh, she's stealing! This is a shirt. With potatoes. With just shells glued to it. Like literally just hot glued shells. Your, your camera angles are mediocre. The next day. We were literally just in Walmart the other day and I was just about to buy this mirror for $12 and I just found it at Goodwill for four. I'm not gonna get this shoe rack because I just realized it's $6 and that seems a bit much for only two rows of shoes, you know? That just seems like a lot. All right, I changed my mind because it expands and you can put a lot of shoes on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it for $6. We'll do that. I'll stop being cheap. Look at these. Look how fancy. God, you just found all of them. All of them. Wow, that one's the best. Is it? 
the powder blue is like that very. That the best. <laughs> that one's definitely the best. But the powder blue kind of reminds me who donated their whole collection. The, they're all from the same person. All That's them. so funny. Look at that paisley print. Yes. <laughs> and I hate. Oh my god. I hate listing this stuff, but. You should I, put them, like, are they all the same size? That's, I'm gonna have to get, I need to get that though, Extra right? large, extra large, extra large. I need to buy this, right? Oh, Even with that, so I can get it out. <laughs> I just You're tougher than me. I would be myself. like, absolutely not. <laughs> Those are cool though. I I'm know. sure they're good on eBay. Are you gonna lot them? Sell them as a lot or of, separately? I don't know, they're not really going for more than 25, like the Panhandle Slim, but this thing, that sucker's gonna go for like... Oh, oh, for Scully. Yeah, I'm holding out for this one. Look at those buttons. Oh my god. I'm hoping for yes. at least 50, 60. Fancy. Good find. Look at this beauty. Oh my Lanta. It's like a ski jacket from Hot Tub Time Machine. <laughs> it's everything. Am I getting this? Maybe. Look at this flower. Yes, ladies. Yes. Look how cute this is. A little honey jar. That's a little stir. How freaking cute. Oh my god. How cute is this little hamburger platter? You put like your hamburger patties and stuff like that and then like condiments in there for like a little barbecue. That would be so fun. Do I need him? No, I don't. He has a lot of crazing. There's a lot of crazing on there. Probably just gonna leave it behind, but that was really cool. I think that's cute. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a great day. I almost said Friday because I feel like it's a Friday. Like I'm not getting Tuesday vibes. I'm feeling very like happy Friday vibes. I don't know why. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog footage. Joe thought it would be fun to take over the vlogging for the day and it was kind of spontaneous and we just went with it. Uh, sorry, it was a little shaky and the camera angles were all over the place. He's working on it. So I'm gonna show you some stuff that I picked up. As you guys saw, I've been thrifting over the past couple of days and I've collected some things. I have been being a lot more picky these days. So sorry if my hauls are not like huge hauls anymore. I am gonna make a trip to the Goodwill bin soon. So I will have like a big clothing haul for you guys coming in the near future. Um, but when it comes to regular Goodwills, I'm just being super, super picky about what I'm picking up. Uh, because I don't like sitting on things for forever. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to invest a little bit more wisely these days instead of just buying things because they're cheap. So I have a lot of home decor. I have a couple uh, clothing pieces. So let's just get right into it. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the clothing first since there's only two items. Uh, the first item you guys saw me pick up uh, for a dollar. It was on Sunday here at our Goodwill is dollar day. So the color of the week, which was yellow this week, um, is a dollar on Sunday. So I just got lucky with this one that this was still here. Um, it's just a Hogwarts sweatshirt. Super cute. Um, it's a size 12. I think this is like a girl's size. Yeah, it's definitely a girl's size. So this would fit maybe like an extra small um, or even just a regular small. It does need to be like sweater shaved. Um, it's got some pilling right under the arms, but no flaws otherwise. And then I got this super cute romper, this vintage floral romper. Now I have another one of these in my closet and it has the corset back. Um, this one just has the little like tie in the back, just the one tie. It doesn't like corset all the way up, but I'm super into vintage rompers lately. I don't know why. And I, they just keep finding me. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep picking them up. This one does have shoulder pads in it, which I am gonna take out because they are super aggressive. And I don't think that a romper is something you wanna keep shoulder pads in. You know what I mean? Like a blazer is fine, but a romper, probably not. It's a size medium, it's 100% rayon, and I think I paid $6 for this. All right, so let's get into home decor stuff. First up is this little like silver, he's upside down, silver tin. I think it's silver because it's tarnished. I don't know. Um, Anyways, it's this little vintage silver fish tray. Um, this is what he looks like. He's got a little tarnish on him, a little age, a little wear, uh, but it's still, you know, 
like I've said before, patina is everything. We love a good patina on this channel. So <laughs> um, I was going to keep him because you guys know I collect like fish, like vintage fish thing. Sorry, I'm blinding the hell out of you. Um, but I just don't have anywhere to really put him. I have too many trays going on in my house. And really, I like to stick with like brass tones instead of silver. Um, so this will be up on Poshmark. I paid $2.92 for him. I'm probably going to list this for about $17. 15 to $17. Um, the romper I'm going to list for about $40. And then this little sweatshirt, probably going to list for about 19-ish, maybe 17. Speaking of brass, I picked up a lot of brass items this week. They just all found me at once, and I'm not complaining. I'm super excited about it. I love brass. Um, so I actually had gotten this little candlestick a while back. And I wanted to make like a collection of brass candlesticks, like mismatched ones. Um, so I've been, I started that, started collecting that. And I actually found his mate looks exactly the same, same candlestick um, at a different Goodwill several weeks later. So <laughs> I went ahead and picked this one up. I paid 79 cents for both of them. They were both 79 cents. And then I got these which are a little bit different shape. They're a little bit more like tarnished than these, uh, but I'm gonna leave them the way they are. Um, I paid 59 cents for this one and 59 cents for this one. Um, once I get enough candlesticks, I wanna do at least like 10. They'll come as a set. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna price them at. Um, it just depends on how long it takes me to find a bunch and how nice they are so that's those little candlestick collection um i think four is like too small of a collection so i'm definitely wanting to find more uh, before i sell those so it'll be a second before those go up next piece is this little brass tray it's just like a little you can put your perfume on it your makeup your everyday jewelry I, you know you guys know it's no secret, I love trinket trays. This one is beautiful, I love the brass tones. Very, very cute. Um, and I don't know how much I paid for this. I think she charged me like 59 cents for it. I'm probably gonna list it for about $17. Um, and then this piece is really cool. Um, I kinda wanna do some research on it. What does it say? It says, solid brass may, or handcrafted in India. Hmm. Uh, it's just this little like, vintage what do you call these a bugle horn a horn i don't know uh but it's like a little wall hanging you just hang it on your wall um the string is definitely seen better days but i'm gonna leave it on there because i think it adds character to it and it definitely you know screams vintage uh but it's just really cool i really really like this couldn't leave it behind i don't even know how much i paid for it i think she charged me two dollars for it um i'm gonna do some research on it and just see like what they're going for but probably gonna list it for about 17 to 19 dollars just depending on what my research turns up moving on to two of my favorite items i love these items and i wish they were my style um they're very 80s and they're very i don't know they're just cool um so the first one is this little soap dish and it is just this little black cat it is solid black um, and he's just like looking down at the soap. Like how stinking cute is that? This was actually made in 1982. Um, and I just think it's so cool. Like I love this. This is adorable. And who doesn't like black cats? Um, it does have a little scratch right there. Almost like, uh, it's not a chip. It's like a chip in the paint a little bit. Uh, but someone put Sharpie on it. So you can't see it really at all unless you get like this close to it you know what i mean um so anyways that's the only flaw on her and i just think it's so cute i really want to keep this but it just doesn't go with anything in my house at all um so i'm probably going to list this for about 22 ish it is porcelain i want to say it's porcelain yeah it's porcelain um probably going to list this for about 22 dollars then we have this two-piece little glass mug set and I found this at the last minute yesterday. I just did a quick little 
like run through again through the home goods just to see if I missed anything and I'm so glad I did because these little glass mugs are just stunning they're like this beautiful blush pink color I don't even know if you can like really tell um but they're just so so pretty I kind of want to take an Instagram picture with them and then sell them this color is just so pretty and they're so unique um this is made by a company called Arco Rock um which is in France um, they're strengthened heat resisting toughened glassware not for oven use <laughs> so they still have their little stickers on them uh, there's two of them and I'm probably gonna ask uh, probably 10 bucks a piece so $20 for the set um, I looked them up on eBay and that seems to be about the price on them oh they're just so pretty like how cute would this be on Instagram I'm just thinking like of the photos <laughs> the photo opportunities alone are worth it you know um so i'm probably going to take a picture with one and then post them <laughs> i forgot about this because i put it behind me um but it's just this really nice like oversized it kind of feels just like a regular pillow um for your bed um but it has this nice you know it's a decorative pillow though um, and it's an amazing condition. It looks like somebody like bought it. It didn't match their decor and they donated it basically. But anyways, it has this really pretty print on the front with these beautiful like pastel kind of like powder colors. And then it's reversible and you can use this side which has a really pretty like dusty pink color and dusty blue. I just think this is really nice and pretty. Um, this case does come off so you can wash it. Let's see what kind of pillow is in there. Yeah, just a regular pillow. Um, so this case does come off so you can wash it. Just a disclaimer, I have not washed it and I probably won't. Uh, I'll leave that up to you guys. Or whoever buys it, they can wash it. Because um, detergents and stuff, I don't want to like trigger anyone's allergies, you know. So that will be up for sale. Probably going to list this for about $19, um, $17 to $19 because um, it's pretty big. This is pretty big. Maybe, should I list it for more? Maybe like 25? I guess I should probably list it for a little more since it's bigger. Okay, let's get that out of the way. All right, so I did pick up a couple pieces for my own home because I am, oh my gosh, I have to go get that painting. I forgot. It's so beautiful. You guys have to see it. Anyways, as I was saying before, my own thoughts interrupted my thoughts. Um, I am trying to put a little bit more color into my house. I, you know, I've been sticking with like neutrals and like brass tones and like really warm tones. Um, but I'm trying to pop some like greens and some baby blue, like some powder blues. Um, I'll put a little picture of my color, my new color palette that I'm trying to aim for. Um, with not so much of the pink, but just a little bit like some corals here and there. Nothing like, you know, crazy like teenage girl bedroom. Um, but I'm just trying to add some more color. Um, because really like color has just been bringing me so much happiness lately. Um, and I'm just, I feel like I'm in a better place now. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, I've been doing my makeup a lot more. I've been, you know, just, I feel better. I'm in a better place. Uh, maybe I'll make a video about my new attitude and my new perspective on life. Um, if you guys want to see like a mental health video, let me know down in the comments below and I will certainly do that. Uh, but anyways. I'm going to stop rambling. So I picked up three items for my own home. And yes, this does not have color in it, but oh my God, this painting is just beautiful. And I didn't pick it up. I put it back down and I was like, oh, I just like, I don't know if I want it or not. And then I couldn't stop thinking about it as I was walking through the thrift store and somebody, an older couple had picked it up and they had picked up a bunch of other paintings as well. And they put this one down because it does have a tiny little like tear in the canvas right here, but it's very minor and you can't really tell. I'm just going to put a little piece of tape on the back um, to kind of patch it. Um, but I was like, do you guys want this? And she was like, no, we're not going to take it. There's like a little tear in it. She was like, but it's beautiful. And we just like got to talking, but it's just stunning. This like silhouette of a woman. It's a naked lady, by the way. I hope I don't get demonetized for this. Um, but I think it's just beautiful. It's stunning. So this is in our bedroom. I am going to do a video all about like styling our house. So don't worry. You'll see how I styled this. All right. So then I picked up a couple little colorful pieces. Um, this is a little jar, just a little 
like amber color jar and it has this beautiful kind of like rainbow patina on it it's just like really pretty i don't this is not vintage at all i don't think um it's just like made to look like it's it has patina unfortunately when i took the tape off it pulled some of this faux amber like stain off so i have to like position it in a way that you can't see that but i thought this was really pretty i'm not sure where i'm gonna put that i may put this in the living room i may put it in the bedroom i haven't decided yet um because the orange tones are more in the living room and then i got this really pretty green bowl um i just I just really liked the the lines on it. I really liked the color. It does have like a crack, uh, but you can't really see it unless it's in a certain light. Um, and I just, this color is just so, so pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it yet. I might put some like potpourri, you know, like the sophisticated woman that I am not. Or <laughs> I may put just like, I don't know, just random. Let me know down below what I should put in this bowl because I really don't know. I may just leave it empty because it's just so pretty. So anyways, that concludes today's haul. I hope you guys en enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure and give it a like on your way out. If you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button and join our family. We would love to have you. I put new videos out every Tuesday and Friday and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye guys.